what's up you guys it's been a minute oh i should have covered up my pimple i was picking at it what's up you guys i've missed you i feel like i'm coming on here like a dog with my tail in between my legs because it's been a minute since we vlogged but girl i've been busy <laughs> like it's not even that it's just like i think i'm a little emotionally drained right now but i'm like you know what vlogging always makes me like have to talk my feelings into words so i was like let's start it out but it's monday couldn't tell you what day it is it's like the first week of april um and yeah i feel like i have so much to catch you guys up on last week i was doing this two-day amazon event which was really cool it was fun seeing all the girls come in from out of town um that i met at the last one so that was nice i only went to two events which was kind of nice because like all day is kind of a lot so i still had most of my day to work but the week before that my friends were actually in town it was so nice having them in town too like we we were just kind of driving around playing tourist every day the first day um they landed at like 1 p.m we ended up going to a clippers game that night and then after we were drunk and it was raining really really bad so we went into mastro's got a few drinks went home and then it was one of my best friend her boyfriend who's also my friend it was his birthday so <laughs> he was really hungover, but we went to Hollywood. It was raining most of the time that they were in LA, but we made the best out of it. And then the two other days we went to the beach, but overall it was super fun having them in town. I'm trying to think of what I did the week before. I couldn't even tell you, dude, but yeah, it's been nice like having friends in town, but I'm really itching to like go travel or go do something outside of LA. Like last night, I, I don't know I was kind of sad not like like homesick or anything but just kind of like feeling like kind of like over trying on clothes and shit like that like I feel kind of like overwhelmed but at the same time under stimulated I don't know if that makes any sense but I was literally this close to buying a flight a solo flight to Turks and Caicos <laughs> like I was so fucking close good thing there was no alcohol in my system because I would have done it but um, I'm like you know what we need to we need to cope with our feelings in different ways besides just traveling you know so I'm gonna really try and get on my ish this week um, this weekend I kind of kept it really really chill my friend came over Friday night and we ended up getting kind of turned, but the other two days, like I went to the beach on Saturday and then on Sunday, I kind of kept it very low key and um, I redid my nails. They're looking so cute. Ooh, look at that. I love them. I just used blooming gel. Um, super easy. Just look up the crocodile nail on TikTok and you'll be able to recreate something similar. You just need colors and stuff. But oh my god i'm going into three thousand different directions but yeah you guys i'm trying to think if there's anything super duper new going on in my life not really i feel like towards the end of the week we're gonna have a really fun weekend because it's supposed to be like 85 here it's been raining for like two months straight in la and that never happens so it's gonna be a fun weekend. We're gonna pop out, we're gonna go to the beach, we're gonna go to the patios, we're gonna do it all. I'm gonna have a hot girl weekend for sure. I'm gonna take you guys along, but this week we're keeping our head down, hitting the gym, working hard, and yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh, I feel like I left you guys off like when I was dating like two guys or like talking to two guys and I was really like, oh my God, I'm gonna have a boyfriend soon. No, <laughs> no one in sight. They both cut themselves off so quickly. So um, your girl is literally not talking to anyone and I think it's good, you know? I don't know if something's in the air, like summer's right around the corner, but I'm, I'm not like, sad to be single i would like to be in a relationship sometime soon like i am ready to book that flight to turks and caicos but with someone else you know like i want to do a solo trip but you know i'm ready for a relationship but not with these not with these people you know i was talking to so yeah you know i feel like with men 
or just with relationships in general, people have a way of telling on themselves. You just have to look for it and make sure you know you're not like blinded by like what they could be because people will show you their true self right away so yeah that's kind of the update on my love life nothing <laughs> and that's okay i think my you know my next relationship or whatever is gonna be someone i meet very like fluidly like organically when i'm out and that's perfectly okay like you know I'm going to I'm going to have a good summer. I feel like I've mentioned it before, but last summer when I moved to LA, so I moved in May, which is another thing I got to talk to you guys about. I moved in May. It took about 20ish, I eight, I think 18 days for my furniture to arrive. So I was literally on an air mattress, nothing. Like I had paper cups. I had literally nothing for oh, a little bit like close to a month so by the time like all my stuff came i unpacked i started furniture shopping car shopping summer was halfway over and i had to catch up on work you know so i didn't really have like the most lit summer the most fun summer plus i didn't really know that many people so i feel like this summer is gonna be my summer to shine here and have a lot of fun um but yeah that brings me up to my apartment it's april may is when my lease is up and they hit me with like i think it's it was like 300 something extra to, for month to month and i was like okay okay i see you guys like and i called them i'm like can you guys do anything about that like what about a six month lease but a year lease they are not going to increase or yeah, they, they if I signed another six month lease, they wouldn't increase it at all. But they wanted to add on an extra three, almost four hundred dollars for the month to month. And I'm like, this place is not worth that extra four hundred because if I was paying my rent plus four hundred dollars, I could live in a nice like luxury high rise apartment. Like, come on, be for real. So that's kinda like scooting my butt into looking at apartments sooner i'm not going to sign anything over the summer but i'm definitely going to be looking i just have no idea where i want to move like ugh. you think you would know la after almost a year of living here but you don't because like each neighborhood is such a different vibe each street is such a different vibe so yeah you guys i have no idea i have no idea what part of la but i figure i'm just gonna go for apartments that check off all of my wishes and then check out the neighborhoods while i'm going to these apartments you know the last time i was apartment hunting i had three days and i probably looked at like 15 20 different apartments and i found this one i found a few i really liked but i like this one the most it checked off most of my things um the only reason i'm moving is because it gets really hot in this room in the summer that's kind of like my main thing and i was telling the guy i'm like that's the reason i'm leaving Oh, and it's kind of it's kind of like far away from my sister but I like the more I think about it the more I'm like I don't know if I really want to live over by where she lives so like I really like my neighborhood um, but the guy was like you know have the maintenance guys look into it and for some reason I never really thought about that <laughs> like I did but like I don't think he can even fix it because the vent is not strong enough for this big of a space like competing against these windows that get good sunlight all day long and it gets hot as shit here like 100 degrees every day so um i guess i should talk to the, my maintenance guy and see if there's anything he could do i guess another thing no i was gonna say maybe they could put more vents in here or something but it's just one little channel of vents i don't know what they could do so we'll have to see but yeah apartment hunting is probably going to be my future i also just kind of want to upgrade like you guys have seen my apartment it's not bad by any means but it is outdated like the carpet in the bedrooms the floors in the bathroom they are not cute and um <laughs> you guys are kind of probably gonna be like bitch are you for real but my closet space isn't that good here i have three closets one walk-in which is saving my whole life 
The other closet is literally a storage closet in my bedroom. Like, it's got my Christmas tree, my holiday decor, a few jackets, a blow-up mattress. I guess I could, like, utilize that one a little bit better and, like, organize it, but I haven't gotten around to that. And then my living room one has more shoes that I really don't wear, so I could probably donate some of those my vacuum all of like my summer stuff like blow up inflatables um towels beach chairs stuff like that i feel like just for how much i'm going to be about paying i could really get a nice place you know but i do like my apartment i do love the neighborhood so i might even look at apartments in the same neighborhood because that would be a pretty easy move i mean i don't think it'd be any easier than moving like across la honestly because i'm not going to be doing that part like i'm going to have to still pack everything and move it no matter what so yeah, lots of decisions to make, but I'm not going to try and trip about it right now because, yeah, I I just don't have the mental capacity to do that. But anyways, it is Monday night. It's feeling so good here. It's like 65 degrees, sunny again, and it's going to be really warm this weekend. But during the week, I'm going to be working. I have hot yoga tonight. I've been on my hot yoga shit lately. I've gone every Monday for the last four weeks because I really like this instructor she's an older lady she's so funny and like quirky and weird <laughs> and I really really like her I've been to another hot yoga class where it was very like proper like <sighs> and it almost felt like to LA and then this lady over here is like a wackadoo and she's just super chill and really really nice and actually helps you with your form and stuff so yeah I I thought hot yoga was gonna be like way too hard like I was gonna pass out and no honestly what I'm taking it's I don't think it's real like real yoga we're not even like doing downward dog or anything it's literally just stretching <laughs> but it feels so good so I'm doing that later tonight it's 5 30 right now my class is a little bit later I need to hop in the shower I self tan last night and I rinsed it off this morning and you know showered but I you know, like when you start sweating day one of doing self-tanner, you kind of start smelling funky like self-tanner seeping out of your pores. So I do want to shower before I go into a hot ass room and sweat some more and stink up the place. So I'm going to do that later. Um, I feel like that's all I can catch you guys up on right now. We've been talking for 14 minutes. So anyways, um, yeah, I'll show you guys hot yoga tonight if I remember. Otherwise... I'll see you after, okay? Good morning. Uh, I'm looking a little rough this morning, but we are actually at the gym. I've been going to my home gym, my apartment gym, for quite a while. <clears throat> but I really want to lift heavy today, so we pulled up to the gym. Going to get it in a little leg day. I really just want to use the glute bridge thingy. Um, so hopefully people aren't hogging it up. Um... Last night I took off all my lashes and did full scara and I'm feeling like a human again. There was like five on this side, maybe 20 on this side. It just wasn't looking even, but they did hold up for like a solid month without me having to get a fill. So I'm going to keep going to this girl. She snaps. She's super cool. Um, but I, I'm just a full scara girl. Like this took me five minutes. So yeah. Anyways. Oh, that's always awkward when someone walks past me when I'm vlogging. But anyways, I'm going to hit the legs and get to it. So what was I saying? Oh, after this, I need to go grocery shopping. So we're also going to hit up Trader Joe's too or like Target. <laughs> Bro, I was about to pass out. I did a stair stepper for 10 minutes after because they say if you want to burn fat, you should do your cardio after your lifting because your body's already like your heart rate's up or something. I don't know. But I've been doing it and I've noticed a difference definitely because I hate cardio. So any like ways around doing it or making it most efficient, I'm going to do it. But my legs were like shaking on the stair stepper, but I got in, let's see, and work out 570 calories in an hour and 11 minutes, so that's 
pretty fucking good. I try and aim for like, I know I'm putting in work work when I do 100 calories in 10 minutes or 10 calories per minute. So like if I can get right around 500 calories in 50 minutes, whoo, I'm dying. But anything kind of around that, I'm like, okay, yeah, you still put in work. Especially when I'm lifting, you know, you can't burn calories as quickly when you're lifting, but you burn them longer afterwards, you know. <clears throat> so anyways, Trader Joe's is about a 10 minute drive for me, so I'm going to run there quick. I have nothing in my brain as far as like what I want to make, so I'm going to get some of their easy rice because I'm tried making rice and it was really good, but I overcooked it and I don't feel like making rice again. I have chickpea noodles. I'm going to get some heavy cream for creamer and also in case I want to make a sauce. Maybe I'll just get like some marinara. I don't know, girls. I'll brainstorm on my way, but I'm going to make, get my vegetables in. I haven't been eating very many vegetables lately. It's just because I haven't had them. So I'm going to get like some like stir fry veggies and stuff easy because I don't feel like cooking right now so anywho I'll see you guys when we get home okay I'm back home I went a little overboard as you can tell like bitch who do I think I'm feeding a family of four but I'll show you guys what I got because I'm so hyped I finally found the birria at Trader Joe's I heard it snaps too so I'm excited I got two of them um, I hope it's really good, but I love that it's frozen, so this is going to be, you know, maybe like one of those cheat day meals or whatever. Fuck, I forgot to get some quesadilla cheese. I'm going to have to, you know what, I also forgot to get coffee, so I'm going to have to run over to the store eventually because your girl can't live without coffee, but yay, I'm so excited. I also got this. This looks kind of good. Um, I really mess with Trader Joe's chicken. It's not dry at all, so this is like a pre-cooked. Um, it was in the refrigerator section, so this will need to be ate soon, but I'm really just have, trying to have proteins on hand that are easy, already made, because I need to get my eating together. I think I haven't like gained any muscle or lost any weight because my eating is so sporadic. So this is good. They have this new rice. I mess with their rice super heavy. So I was down to try some Spanish style rice. And then I got the good old Jasmine sourdough bread for my breakfast Sammies. Cowboy caviar. I just have some tortilla chips that I got to finish up. So I thought this would be good with it some garlic, marinara. I also got meatballs over there. So I'm going to make the, like the, um, chickpea noodles. Those are frozen. So that can be a meal at a later time. Um, some shrimp stir fry, green beans, diced onions for my birria, plus also like morning, like omelets or whatever. I got this elote chopped salad. Mm, I don't know. It's looking a little sus to me. Like, I don't really know if this is going to be good. I really, really like the, where is it? Oh, right here. The elote um, corn chip dippers. Fire, you guys. You need to try these. Um, so we'll see if this salad gives anything. I don't even know if it has any yeah, it doesn't have any chicken in it, so I'll just add some of this chicken. Uh, what else? I got some limes, um, some chicken salad. <laughs> it's a chicken salad. <laughs> um, I like this. It's good. But I don't think it's that good for you, but it's a quick, like, easy little snack if you want to get some protein in. And then I got some pretzels to go with it. Cilantro for my tacos. Um, some mushrooms for whatever, fish, tortillas, um, everyone's been talking about this basil pesto, the vegan one, and who was it? Kyra Amanique on YouTube, she says make, or she says like put the pesto in the frying pan, then add an egg, and then put pesto on a piece of bread, and make like a little breakfast sammy out of it, and it's super good, so I'm gonna try that, I got an avocado, some tomato, cheese, um, some berries, I don't know, I don't really think Trader Joe's does like candies too, too good, but I was like, whatever, and then some Brussels, 
two bottles of wine because it's going to be nice as fuck this weekend. Some detergent because I was I was going to hold out and wait till I go to Target to get my detergent, but I got like two pods left, so I'm just going to have this on hand. I don't really think it's going to clean like I need it to clean, but if you add a little bit of baking soda and vinegar, yes, especially to gym clothes. Make sure you do that. It, it's a game changer. Um, and then I got myself some flowers. Pretty, right? I don't know. Yeah. So my total was 150. And yeah, I feel like I'm stocked up on like freezer food and fresh food for a hot minute. So I'm happy with it. And here I am all alone. I'm so cold, I'm so cold. You got me out here. I've been taking on all this baggage. Adding on so much weight. got a little ready for the day it's about 2 p.m i was like i could either do full glam get ready to film or i could clean up this monstrosity and i think that's what we're gonna do today it's actually not that bad just stuff on the ground um but i want to organize my closet and put everything away into like bins that I want to sell or get rid of. Yeah, anyways though, I'm going to deep clean my closet because it's just like, it's a shit show. Like I can't even close those right now. You see, the, you see the issue. So I'm gonna finish this book I've been listening to, Rock, Paper, Scissors. I really like it so far. Um, it's a little bit of a slow burn, but I'm still into it. So we're gonna do that today. And I'm gonna go get a green juice real quick, you know, just to just to like treat myself because I know this, this is gonna be a long process because I'm literally tearing this up and going through everything. So, anywho, let's go take a little walk. I've been going at it for hours, but everything's looking clean. Um, I didn't get too much done in here besides well, it looks cleaner. A little bit. A little bit. That's all over there because I'm still filming with it. Um, but what I really did is... Okay, I haven't even touched this area because this is going to be part of my like closet sale. Like the cute stuff. But I did want to um, donate like more practical, regular, everyday clothes um, to donation centers around here. So I went through my workout stuff, sweatshirts sweatpants and now I can finally open my drawers I'm also gonna just bring a bunch of swimsuits to um, the Salvation Army but like girl 
I could not open any of these before. I'm so hyped. So, yeah, well, I've been going at it for hours, you guys. So, I'm done. It's six o'clock. My friend just FaceTimed me. I was in the middle of cleaning the toilets. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm gonna make some food and chill tonight. I need to wash my hair at some point tonight as well. Um, because tomorrow is going to be a filming day or I might actually wash my hair tomorrow morning after I go to the gym I've been on my workout game every day man even if I don't want to I've just built it into my daily schedule like you got to go no matter what so pick a time it can be the morning it can be the night whatever time works better and yeah I kind of turned into a morning gym girl but I'm just going to go down to my downstairs gym because it's just arm day I can do that all down there but I've been listening to this book called Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney it's pretty good I, it's getting into like full circle so yeah I like listening to audiobooks when I'm cleaning because my mind's not on what I'm doing it's on the book so just a tip if you guys haven't listened to audible definitely check it out and if you want some book recommendations I have them all on my Instagram in the highlight section but yeah that's it for tonight so nothing else exciting going on so I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning you guys we're doing arm day today um, just a quick little arm workout in my apartment gym it's the workout outfit all for me I'm at the point of working out where my ass is getting smaller because it's more muscle and I hate it, but we're gonna power through it. Um, so yeah, arm and back. I'll show you guys what I do until someone comes in and then I get kind of shy. <laughs> Let's get it. me work out this morning it's about 9 30 i just had to wash my hair i gotta show you if you want some volume <laughs> bitch get this kenra volume mousse and you have to put it in your hair while you're blow drying it like make sure your hair is like maybe blow dried like 30 percent pop this in your hair blow dry the roots the other way and you will come out looking kind of crazy but the volume is there <laughs> Um, but I have a meeting with the financial advisor. I'm trying to, I think I told you guys yesterday, I'm trying to get my shit in order. Like, I, I need to find a financial advisor because I'm at the point where I need to separate my business from my personal finances. I need to start investing my money because it's literally sitting in a bank account not making me any money. Um, and I just need direction. I need someone to, you know, kind of tell me where to put it, what to do. 
um, because I don't really have the time to learn how to do it on my own. So, you know, I'm gonna talk to this lady today. I'm also maybe gonna hit up another one, see who I vibe with, if I don't vibe with her. Um, but I really wanted it to be a female financial advisor because I feel like, you know, women are just better. <laughs> In all aspects, I feel like, and especially women promoting financial freedom and financial security, like, I'm going to choose a woman over a man every time, you know. But that's that's a rant, so, but I have a meeting with her in 20 minutes. Um, it's just like a first consult to see if we drive, to see if she can kind of help me figure out... The business thing because I don't know if she's like into personal finance or she also does business finance but we're gonna figure that out um, and then if I like her I think it's like $400 a session it's a little pricey but um, she's gonna make me kind of like a roadmap of shit I gotta do and that's cool with me you know you have to invest in yourself um, you know but what was I going to say? Oh, after that, we are going to do a filming day. My place is all cleaned out since I did it yesterday. So, yeah, I got some stuff to film. And then I... So, I think, I think taxes are due next week. I probably need to start that today. <laughs> oh, my God. They're due on the 14th, right? What day is it? It's the 5th. So I got 10 days, nine days. Yeah, I gotta start doing that. Once again, I forgot to, and I didn't forget, but I got ghosted by a tax person that I reached out to and then I never like followed up. I never reached out to anyone else. So it looks like I'm going solo dolo another year of taxes, which, you know, probably not the best because I probably could be saving some more money if I hired someone else but at the same time it's kind of difficult to find um, a tax person who understands not loopholes but like tax um, write-offs write-offs um, for like social media people like I was talking to some girls that I met at like different events and they're saying they get you know they write off their hair they write off their nails they write off their makeup all of those things that like make you presentable and I never did that last year so after last tax season I got a little bit more organized I have a separate email where I put all of like my receipts to so come this time I can you know just input everything so yeah, I use H&R Block and TurboTax. I do my taxes on both and I see which one is like the lower number and I file through them. <laughs> the number should be the same, but the number was like $10,000 different, $10, difference last year. So I'm doing it on both. I don't care if it takes me forever. So anywho, um, yeah, what else is going on? That's about it for today. Um... Yeah, I also need to edit a reel, so this is why I need help, because I can't do all this shit alone, but it would be really, really nice to have some help. I just, it's a matter of time. It all takes time, so. Anyways, um, I am going to prep for my meeting, and then we need to get full glam and do some filming, so. I'm sitting over here wondering if I vlogged it all yesterday. Bro, I can't remember. But anyways, good morning. It is Thursday and this lighting is doing me so dirty. <laughs> um, that's better. It's 7.30. I laid in bed for an hour and a half. Um, working. I told myself I was going to sleep in because I don't have a spin class until... 9 30 today it's my first time going to a spin class out here in la i just do everything through class pass i should literally have a sponsorship with them at this point because i am a class pass lover but anyways um yeah 7 30 i'm gonna just pour the rest of 
this coffee into a cup and make it iced coffee. You already know. I don't know if I showed you guys these. Look at these cute little glasses I got. They're from Amazon. So cute. Like the classiest fishbowl margarita you ever did see, right? I'm excited to use them. But no margaritas this morning. It's not that type of party. Um, and then after my spin class, I have a Target pickup order. I didn't really, I knew I was gonna be like sweaty as fuck after my class, so I didn't really feel like going into Target. Um, plus, also, like, if you can't control yourself in Target, do pick up, <laughs> because I sure can. And I think this is my cheapest order ever, $40, and it's just all the essentials. I needed wet wipes, um, detergent, a few other things. But anyways, let's go get ready. Okay, let's get ready. Um... <laughs> So I don't really wear deodorant to bed because I feel like you need to give your skin a chance to breathe. So just to refresh in the morning if you smell a little like sleep and I mean I'm not going to shower in the morning if I'm going to work out like only if I smell bad but take a little bit of coconut oil in all of your sweat crevices. Good as new, babe. And then put on a little body spray. Like, I swear, this works every time. I mean, make sure you're showering, please. But, you know, if you just need a little refresh, mm -hmm. um, coconut oil is antibacterial. So it literally cause, kills odor on site. So, anywho. And then, obviously, I put on deodorant after. Another thing you guys need to get, oh my god, this is so hard to zip up, but it's going to keep me locked in. Okay, another thing you guys need to get is this. I talked about it once in like a girl chat video. If you have thighs and they, you know, have a little odor, like, you know, when it's hot, you're sweating and stuff, get this girl it's the ordinary glycolic acid toning solution just a little in the thigh crease you can put it under your boobs under your belly line um no odor you can even use it as a natural deodorant but you know i don't <laughs> i use deodorant um or yeah like i said coconut oil as well you can kind of use it for the same purpose or double up. Oh. I feel like I smell my best when I put coconut oil on and then put on a good smelling body lotion, then my perfume, and then like my scent is locked in all day, like smelling good, good, because it's antibacterial, then your scents, then your perfume, and perfume sticks really well to oil, so just a little tip. Um, deodorant. Should we just go through my whole lineup? This aluminum free deodorant, the best. I wish they would come out with different scents. They have lavender, they have coconut. They, I think they have like the fresh whatever scent. Come on with some like saucy or something. something. Come on. I don't really like the smell of lavender at all. My sister's obsessed with it. And I also made my own concoction. <laughs> it looks nasty, but oh my god, your skin will be so soft. So Vaseline, coconut oil, and then what else did I put in here? Oh, I put like a perfume oil in here too, just a few drops of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then I'm just going to go in with this. I got gifted this at the Amazon event last week. It's the Sol de Janeiro. Chirosa, Chirosa, Brazilian Crush, I don't know. I like how it smells. Outfit. Um, now I need to wash my face, brush my teeth. I have to drink my coffee first, because I already started. Usually I brush my teeth before I drink anything, but I already started, so. Oh, I got a new product I want to show you guys. 
Okay, so I got this different acne treatment. It's a 2% salicylic body spray. Excuse me. And you guys know, I've been going through it with my skin. Like, I'm on acne medication, blah, 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 blah. But with how much I work out, my back, like, it's not too bad. But it's just something I'm, like, self-conscious of. Like, you know... It's not, it's not too much, but um, I'm hoping to clear it up, so I'm going to spray some of this, let it dry down. <coughs> what the fuck? I straight up inhaled that. That's not good. I'll let it dry and see if this starts helping. Um my acne on my back because it keeps popping up it's like not going away it's not scarring or anything it keeps popping up oh my god do I see abs coming in period you see that <laughs> um but I'm thinking like if I put this on before I work out like all that sweat and gunk and dirt that you're sweating out your pores like this will maybe help kind of like control the acne a little bit better so we'll see I don't know I don't think it's gonna be a miracle worker but when you're consistent with your shit you know you start to see a difference so what was I gonna do next oh I'm gonna put a little something on my face just cuz I am breaking out and my face and my body were not matching These are the two products I use when I'm working out because they actually have skincare built into them so wearing them while you're like sweating and stuff it's not as bad just make sure you're getting something non conomogenic -com I think that's how you say it something that won't clog your pores so clearly I love this stuff um, this is like your skin but better you still see imperfections it just kind of like evens everything out it does not look like makeup and then <clears throat> it cosmetics just sent this to me it's the bye bye dark spots correcting and serum so if you have acne scarring or dark marks or under eye this has niacinamide in it <clears throat> which is supposed to help um, correct any like uneven skin tone over time so I'm gonna put it on this big sucker right here and I like this product because it's got a little kabuki oh my god where'd you come from it's got a little kabuki on the end of it so it's good for like on the go if you just need to like touch up or something you see I also need to wash my makeup brushes like next level bad. Uh, I can't wait till I can catch a tan, you guys. Like my skin almost looks better. <coughs> More even. Oh, I can't wait. I've been thinking about getting um permanent lip brushing or whatever. Cause my lip line is really faded. And just like, you know, anything I can do to make getting ready and looking good, like low maintenance wise, I'm going to do it 100%. I went to a new lady for my lip filler and that shit migrated. I'm not going back to her. So the next time I go get my lips done, I'm going to have to probably get that dissolved, which is super annoying. Okay, so got that on. I'm just going to take a little bit of translucent powder underneath my eyes so nothing creases. What time is it? Oh, it's only 8. I got hella time. Perfect. I'll do my emails real quick. You still see everything, but it's just kind of evened out. Okay, let me do my hair, and then I need to work for a little bit. You guys, I'm done with my class. Yo, that kicked my ass, and it was my first time 
riding with actual like spinning shoes and I didn't know how to clip them in <laughs> and I was running late so they already started I finally figured it out like five minutes in but I was stressed but let's see what we did as far as calories 444 in 43 minutes real good Anywho, I need to see if my Target order is ready. If so, I'm just going to go run and pick it up. Otherwise, I need to go home and shower because I'm literally dripping wet. Like, my kneecaps all water. <laughs> you know you're sweating go when your kneecaps are sweating. So, I'll catch you guys later. Hello. Happy Friday. Hey, hey. Um, it's 11.30 right now. I just got done filming a YouTube video. I was going to sit around and edit it, but my sister just hit me up saying she's going to her friend's pool. And it's a really nice pool. And it's a beautiful day out, so I'm going to go do that instead. I'll edit tomorrow morning before the lituations begin. Um, but yeah, this place is looking worse than it was yesterday, but it's fine. I'll leave it for tonight to clean up. But I'm going to try and soak up some vitamin D, so... I had to scrub this makeup off, catch a tan. I actually just scrubbed off all of my tan this morning, so it's perfect. I wanted to catch some sun today, so I'm going to hurry because you know the UV index. But yeah, it felt good to film a YouTube video. I was a little, like, slow this morning. I don't know. I've just been really tired, and, like, yesterday, I don't even know where I left off. Oh, that spin class. After that spin class, you guys, I, like, showered, ran my errands to Target, and I was pooped. Like, I don't know if it was the workout or what, but I was exhausted. I sat down on my couch and I fell asleep like five different times. Like, I would wake up, put on a, cot, a pot of coffee, go lay down again, and then wake up. It would be done. I'd be like, oh, it's gonna burn if I don't, if I leave it on here too long, put it in the fridge, lay down. Like, I was exhausted. So, all I did last night was I redid my toes because they were looking a little crusty, and then I passed out, so, yeah, I'm just a little tired, I don't know why, I think I've been going, going all week, and, like, working out a lot definitely makes you tired, but we're gonna start the weekend early, I think, but I'm back home, I was at the pool, I forgot to, like, take any clips, but we were just hanging out, my sister's friend he lives in a really nice apartment and this shit was bougie so it was really nice hanging out there um but yeah i gotta get my life together i got like five boxes by the door i just gotta clean up i did place a little order at ulta though it's mainly lashes i had to re-up on my royal silk these are the best lashes for Falsgara. I'm not wearing them right now, but I'm gonna take these off tonight and wear them. And then I also got this kit. Um, the only difference is it has the overnighter, which I haven't tried yet, so I figured I'd pick up a new kit um, just to try that and see if it makes them last a little longer. And then besides that, I just got a few lip pencils. Um, these Loud Liners by NYX are supposed to be like completely <coughs> waterproof so I got like a brown and then this is like the brown and then I got like a mauve brown and then I also picked up the Essence 8 hour matte comfortable lip liner which is again a brown um, people were like swatching them on their hand and then going like this and they were not budging so we'll see I did however get the worst tan line today like I don't even know what that's like what's that what is that I have no idea but yeah you can see the rings <laughs> not cute anywho let me go ahead and clean this place <laughs> I'll share my world with you. You will lose your time. You can waste your time. I'll be honestly. Open your eyes and see. You can give me what you need. You can waste your time. You can have all. I'll be where I'll be if I need
morning you guys i'm gonna sit down edit this video it's seven um it's kind of nice and like dewy and chilly out this morning so i have my windows open because it's hot in here it's like 77 degrees in here so i'm gonna get to editing this just made some breakfast Ooh, i this omelet turned out so good and i usually don't like omelets but i had all the stuff to make it so I sauteed up some mushrooms, onions, tomatoes, and then just topped it with a bunch of junk. And yeah, we chilling, big chilling this morning. Hey, hey, hey. Um, you guys, I wanted to end out this vlog. My weekend wasn't as lit as I thought it was gonna be, so the last clip you saw is Saturday morning. And honestly, I ended up really staying in most of the weekend. Um, no, actually, I went out Saturday night and then I got sick, and I've been sick for a week and a half, like with some sort of respiratory thing. So yeah, but I did get my hair dyed. It's way darker, as you can tell. Um, the top is a little too dark for my liking, so we're going to bring this color up here a little bit more um, this Friday. But yeah, this is future me from like a week and a half ago, a week and a half later because I have been sick um, like all last week, the week after this footage was taken, I was sick with whatever um my cough is so yeah i got it at a club i'm not i'm not meant for the streets but here i am anyways so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this weekly vlog i had so much fun making it and i want to get back on my vlogging ish uh just give me a sweet little second because i haven't been feeling good but i hope you guys enjoyed um make sure to check me out on instagram as well but i love you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye I'm sorry for my soul.